Hello everybody. So today I want to show you how to answer this one. We need to find about complementary solutions. So I will put about yc. That is about e to the power of lambda s. Later that we need to do first the derivative for the fourth side. So we have lambda. We have lambda e to the power of lambda s. Because if we do first the derivative of this one, we keep the same e to the power of lambda s. Later that we need to do first the derivative of lambda s. You got lambda. Now we go to second derivative of yc and we have lambda square e to the power of lambda s. So we just have only this one equals to number zero. And I will put this one go in here and this one go in here e to the power of lambda s we can do about factorization so we have like this so we need to find the solution we need to find the solution of this one and this one we have lambda equals to number zero and lambda equals to number three so we have yc that is about c number one we have the constant number one e to the power of zero s so this one we have number one so we just try c number one c number two that is about e to the power of three s so we put number three go in here and we have like this and the next one that is about particular solutions so i will put yb so we can see that we have number two and negative six s but this one we don't have y so that means in this case we need to put a plus b s and we have c s square because when we do first the derivative in here we just reduce the power to number one number zero in here and this one that is about the constant so you got number zero so that means we still have the numbers and s and the next one we need to do first the derivative of y b so this one that is about the constant so you got number zero this one we have number one this one we have two s we have two c s and the last one that is about two c so i will put this one go in here So this one, that is this one. And this one, that is this one. So we need to arrange based on the terms of S, negative number 3 and 2C. We have negative 6CS. And the next one, we have 2C and negative number 3 with B. So we have negative 3p. So in this one equals to this one. So we can see that we have s and s. So that means negative 6c equals to negative number 6. And this one equals to number 2. So we just create the system of equations.
And now we need to find the solutions of C and B. So B equals to number zero, C equals to number one. So because we don't have eight, so we can put eight equals to number zero in here. So this one we put number zero, zero and number one. And now we have the final answer. Why C? That is this one. Why B? That is this one. This is the end. Thank you for watching.